Ah, that's right, right. I was wondering. I lost my little thing. Lavender pen. Okay. Maybe someone tried to steal it. All right, so uh, ladies and gentlemen, what I want to do is I want to show you how to simplify these monomials by using our properties of um, our properties of powers that we've gone through. All right. So the first thing we do, ladies and gentlemen, is we have to multiply this monomial. All right, or these two monomials. Now, before we get any crazy, let's just go and take a look at. Let's do something even simpler. What if I had to do three x times four x? Right. This would have been something you would have been looking at in algebra two. When you guys did this, you would say, oh, well, I can only multiply my 3 times my 4, which would be 12, and then x times x, which is 12x squared, right? So what that means is when we're doing a problem like this, I can only multiply the 2 times the negative 7, the x to the negative 3rd times x to the 5th, and the y to the 3rd times y to the negative 6. You can only multiply your, your because remember, all of our, act, all of our rules state that the base always had to be exactly the same, right? You guys remember the base was always the same. So when you're multiplying with exponents, your base, you have to use, you can only multiply ones that have the exact same base. So here what I'm going to just, I'm just going to rewrite this. 2 times negative 7 times x to the negative third times x to the fifth. Actually, I probably don't need to write it in there. We already know. And then times y cubed times y to the negative sixth. Okay, so you only you are only going to multiply the ones that have the same base, and those are the ones you can apply the properties to. So two times negative seven, pretty basic. Negative fourteen. Negative five. Now remember, when we multiply exponent, when we multiply our exponents, we're going to add our powers. So this becomes x to the negative three plus five, and this becomes y to the three plus negative six. Right? By our rules. We're just using those rules. So therefore, I have negative 14 x squared y to the negative third power. All right? Now, I didn't really talk about why we use the negative exponent power. But ladies and gentlemen, when we're dealing with our simplifying our terms, we don't want to write our answer with a negative exponent. So if you guys remember, when we had a negative exponent in the numerator, you could always put it where to make it positive? In the denominator. So I'll rewrite my problem as negative 14 x squared divided by y cubed. And that's going to be my simplified answer. Step by step by step. Got it? Kind of? No? Yes? Well, yes, no, maybe so. Huh?